What's up guys, Mike the Coder here. You know, I, the other day I've been literally just been grinding problems on lead code. Literally, oh wow, they changed the whole, they changed the whole, literally changed the whole setup of lead code. But anyway, um, the other day I was just grinding lead code a ton, just literally doing all those problems and I can't even find where's, where, where are the, where, where are the problem lists? Anyway, oh yeah, they put it here. Anyway, I literally was just grinding array problems on lead code over and over again thinking that this would actually improve my competitive programming skills but this lead code does not help you in competitive programming i just realized that um yeah it, it, has, it has no effect on competitive programming uh lead code is just like a, a lot of these problems in lead code you can't really like okay so like there's there's uh, there's 888 problems now on lead code and uh, i did about 210 for array problems and now if you think about that um oh wow i just have 688 to go but anyway um if you think about this the lead code does not help you in competitive programming like i've been i you know i thought that like if you do a, just more of these array problems that you would get good at lead co at competitive program that's not the case like even like i thought that if i keep doing a ton of lead code for like division two problems i'll at least get better at that because there are some array problems that deal with with like uh these type of problems dealing with like arrays but it actually doesn't affect it like it really doesn't affect it at all like if you if you if you look at the number of problems on lead code and you actually do like do all these problems i don't think your cp skills would improve and the reason why is because a lot of problems on cp are math problems and if you're actually stuck at math you're not going to get better at no matter how many array problems you're going to do you're not going to get better at division 2a or tv like it just doesn't help you like like this is just a waste of time so so i'm just gonna tell you guys this is that don't be like me don't don't if you're gonna do lead code you do it for the interviews but don't do it because like hey i need to improve my cp skills because it doesn't affect anything at all like if you got to improve your math skills in order to increase and in, to get to green at least so yeah i'm gonna go back to grinding problems on code forces but it was it was fun grinding a ton of lead code problems even though I didn't really, I did learn a few things in lead code, but I didn't really like, I didn't learn a lot. I didn't learn like a ton. Like I did learn a few new tricks, I guess, such as using like the sort in like uh, Lambda expre expressions. And I also learned a few more things. I, I could r write some stuff that I, I learned, um, but I didn't, I don't think I really learned like a lot. Uh, I did, did do a few some merge sort. Oh, there was like a problem without like, selection algorithm and i learned that you could use the nth element in c plus plus so that would work that would does help you um but like it doesn't it doesn't improve your competitive programming skills at all i just want i just want to say that uh i i know i made a video about like back then about saying that lead code is sort of like competitive programming but it's really not like it is not like it like it's not going to help you and even if i do all the hard problems like skip all the easies and actually do all the hard problems. I don't think I would actually gain my competitive programming skills because chances are these are not math problems. Like they're not. Even like uh, I guess like maybe maybe some of them have to do with it. Maybe this problem. Pick a number five and seven. But make sure they add up to something. But like I don't I don't think that this would affect your competitive programming skills. So yeah, I just like think that like uh, I don't think lead code does anything. I just want to tell you guys that. And uh, I don't think that you should do lead code in order to increase your competitive programming skills. And um, yeah, just do it for interviews. Like, I don't know, like there's, there's no reason to do this. And also if you're doing competitive programming, thinking that it'll ace your interviews, um, I don't think it will, like it might. When you get to a certain level, I think Cyan or, or a candidate master, inter these problems would be a joke. But like, I don't think that I think by the time you get to Canada Master or Cyan, you're already very good at like just problem solving. So I wouldn't say that just doing competitive programming to improve your interview skills is a good idea. Like if it, like if do competitive programming if you really want to improve your competitive programming ranking. Like I kind of I'm I'm at this point I kind of want to improve my competitive programming ran ranking. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is just my take that lead code doesn't do anything. Lead code doesn't help your CP skills. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. Check you guys later. Peace.